Today, a leading global accounting firm suspends work with crypto clients. It's fed in withdrawals last week and is reportedly considering bankruptcy. Genesis responding to that. Today, FTX files for bankruptcy protection. A lot of stuff has happened in the entirety of the whole cryptoverse in the past years. And 2022 has definitely seen the worst out of all the years that cryptocurrencies experienced. This is of course caused by a multitude of reasons, market events, bankruptcies, layoffs, government overreach, and finally, hacks. Welcome to our channel, where we show you all the essential and relevant news and events happening in the cryptocurrency universe, all in the comfort of your very own crypto attic. Today, we will show you the worst hacks that the cryptoverse experienced, making 2022 the worst year for cryptocurrency breaches. We'll further look into how and why they happen, and finally, how to protect your assets from such threats. Before anything else, please remember that this is not financial advice, but solely our fact-based opinion. We strongly urge you to do your own research before dealing, trading, or buying any cryptocurrencies. Knowledge is your greatest asset. Invest in it first. Let us start by asking the question, what is hacking? For the uninitiated, hacking is the act of an entity aimed at compromising digital devices. Now, there could be a variety of reasons why hacking is needed in a great part of the digital world, some of which are strengthening of computer systems, network optimization, data recovery, development of preventive methods, and finally, digital security. Digital security is needed because as noble as the initial thought behind the inception of hacking is, it is still susceptible to human influence and ultimately greed. Though there is a very small percentage of hackers that seek to compromise a spectrum of digital space including ones from the military, for the challenge and a skewed sense of honing their skills, the majority of malicious hacks are made to go after assets made available through the innovation that the digital age brought. And there is no market more lucrative and mouthwatering to greedy hackers than cryptocurrency, an innovative part of the digital space that saw explosive growth in the past decade. And the year 2022 was perhaps the worst year for cryptocurrency security breaches. Here are 2022's major hacks that made waves all throughout the cryptoverse. Harmony Horizon Bridge Horizon Bridge runs on Harmony, a blockchain that runs Ethereum applications that ensures ultra-fast two-second transactions with transaction fees so low that it's almost negligible. With the benefits that Harmony offers, Horizon Bridge makes sure that investors could transfer their assets from Ethereum to Harmony One effortlessly. The problem lies with security. The Harmony Horizon Bridge does have a validation process for each transaction through the bridge, and it comes in the form of a multi-signature scheme made with five validators. However, the bridge itself only uses two out of the five set validators, meaning any malicious hackers would only need two compromised blockchain accounts to complete their goals. The hack itself was made possible by exploiting a couple of compromised private keys of the bridge that allowed the perpetrators to siphon out a staggering $100 million worth of cryptocurrency assets, including more than 13,000 Ether. They used Tornado Cash to facilitate the use of the majority of the stolen tokens, about $44 million worth of assets in total. Others were moved through a multitude of crypto wallets that are basically untraceable. Harmony is not without action. They continuously are on the hunt for the hackers responsible for the attack, but they are so determined that they offered a $1 million bounty for anyone that could give information that will lead to the arrest of these criminals. Binance Smart Chain XCN2 XCN2 is a cryptocurrency that was deployed by Binance Smart Chain as part of its efforts to deliver a more streamlined experience for their users. That being said, XCN2 Smart Chain is a payment network that reconditioned the use of the more traditional payment stacks on the blockchain. Binance was able to make it possible by succeeding in creating a parallel blockchain that was highly compatible with Ethereum, the top dApp available today. They also made a few more modifications to make it distinguishable from the ordinary dApp. Some of BSE's key features are its independence from Binance itself, meaning it could continue its operations in case a crash happens on Binance, its native compatibility to Binance due to the fact that it is a parallel blockchain to the Binance chain, the lack of restriction offers versatility that users need to complete their transaction options, support staking and community-based governance, and a validator quorum for its security. 
However, hackers were still able to infiltrate the system by exploiting a compromised private key, and through it, change the smart contract into a dubious one designed for them to take assets off the ecosystem. A hacker was also able to exploit a code vulnerability from ABNBC and managed to mint 6 quadrillion tokens, convert it to BNB tokens, and ultimately launder it through the crypto mixer Tornado Cash. All in all, the total assets taken through XEN2 amounts to more than $110 million. There is an ongoing extensive investigation led by Binance's founder and CEO, Changpeng Zhao himself, since this attack reflects negatively on his company's hard-earned reputation as its assets saw massive drops after the breach. Mango Markets Mango is a relatively new trading platform where you can do crypto lending, trading, and even portfolio management. Collateralized loans secured by current assets are permitted by Mango. Leveraged trading and lending or borrowing split the collateral. It utilizes the decentralized platform serum DEX that uses an automated order book system for traders. Transactions through Mango markets are governed by MNGO token holders through the Mango DAO. Mango intends to combine the end user friendly usability and liquidity of CeFi with the inventiveness of DeFi. Mango provides margin trading and decentralized governance to decide on future innovations in order to achieve this objective. In November of 2022, Mango Markets was breached and hackers were able to steal a total of $117 million off the platform. For the actual attack, the hacker used two separate accounts, shorting one and hedging the other. Before initiating an extremely large long position, the attacker made a network deposit of 5 million USD coin. He purchased 438 million Mango tokens, swiftly accruing an unrealized gain of $420 million. The value of the hacker's profile's collateral increased as the price of MNGO rose by around 1,000%. When he had obtained more than $160 million in liquidity from all the accessible tokens, he ultimately killed the protocol. Wormhole Network Wormhole is a decentralized platform that has a multi-blockchain connecting capability that lets you connect blockchains such as BSC, Terra, Solana, Ethereum, Polygon, Oasis, and Avalanche. Through this innovative way that Wormhole executes operations, it managed to solve two major blockchain conundrums. The difficulty of bridging and swapping tokens between blockchains and blockchains almost inability to communicate with each other, essentially creating exclusive domains for their use only. Wormhole was able to bypass these by creating a system where a set of contracts are deployed into different blockchains to monitor their platform smart contract related messages that is also responsible for routing these messages to target chains. This operation is then protected by the 19-node Guardians network. It was still hacked, however, by means of an exploited security flaw that caused a total damage of $325 million in crypto assets. The attack appears to have been triggered by a new update on the project's GitHub repository that made a remedy for a bug that was not yet implemented in the project itself. The hacker might have figured out from the code uploaded to the wormhole GitHub that it is more of a security update disguised as a regular one because of the extensive changes that the code is going to cause to the ecosystem. Because the hacker was able to effectively liquidate the hacked WEther, the attack caused a massive 10% drop to the Solano cryptocurrency as well, due to the cross-chain setup of the network. Wormhole initially offered the hacker a bug bounty of $10 million and returned the WEF the hacker stole. But let's be honest, no one would even consider returning $325 million in exchange for $10 million. Ronin Network The Ronin Network is a platform that was created specifically for blockchain games. This Ethereum-linked sidechain is backed by the company studio Sky Mavis, the one who made Axie Infinity. And that's where Ronin comes in. Its goal was to make Axie an overall smoother experience for its users. The Ronin Network works by using an upgraded proof-of-authority mechanism to generate blocks and process transactions. POAS hosts 25 validators which are responsible for the creation and validation of blocks on Ronin, asset transfers to and from Ronin, and basically any operation a user needs to execute in Ronin. Despite the specialized and highly exclusive use of the Ronin network, the high traffic and high density of assets going through the whole network enticed hackers to try and exploit any weakness to its 9 validator security features. And even through the tight 5 out of 9 validator requirements that it requires to complete withdrawals, in March of 2022, a hack was successfully carried out causing more than $600 million in total damages. 
the attacker used hacked private keys to forge fake withdrawals from the Ronin Bridge itself on two transactions. The attacker found a backdoor through the gas-free RPC node, which was then leveraged by the attacker to get the signature for the Axie DAO validator. The Ronin hack is by far the largest one that happened to the whole crypto community. Though investigations are ongoing, it reached a point that various government agencies were asked to help just so perpetrators could be caught and justice for all that were affected be served. Although the damage to the community is minimal and is slowly recovering, the sheer amount of assets lost in this particular hack sent waves of negative insights from just about every corner of the financial sector. What's worse is that the level of trust and impression for the whole crypto community from the public was significantly reduced, the effects of which could never be measured. Other than these, there are also other major hacks that happen, such as the one in Wintermute, $160 million in damages. Nomad, which had $190 million in damages, and Beanstalk Farms, $180 million in damages. That's another $530 million of stolen crypto assets. Although these are large-scale attacks, there are ways that you could prevent being a target or get exploited by hackers. In fact, some of these preventative measures are so simple yet highly effective. Simple things such as using a strong password that you never share with anyone, buying a hardware wallet, avoiding public Wi-Fi, using VPNs, backing up your seed words, and a lot more. If you want to know more about the different security measures that you could take to secure your crypto assets, make sure to follow Crypto Addict so you won't miss out on our next videos, as we will be making a video on how you could secure your assets in the ever-changing digital world.